What's up, folks? Casual Dad here, uh, and got a shaky cam here, so I'll try to study that as best as possible. Uh, so during the summer, my wife and I have our kids out of school, and we both work remotely, so we've been traveling around and visiting family quite a bit. We'll travel on holidays or weekends and then stay with family for a while, work during the day remotely, and then hang out with family in the evening, and it's just been a really nice thing. But uh, in this particular moment, I have a treat for y'all. I am in a basement. I'm very excited about that because this is the basement where I was introduced to Warhammer. I was introduced to Warhammer 40k, model gaming, miniature gaming, slot cars, um, Mordheim, everything. I painted my first two gene stealers here and maybe a termagant. Um, yeah, played my first games here and I'm going to show off a couple of the things that make this basement really unique and then a little bit of a treat. We'll see what you think. I think it's a treat. Um, but yeah, let's get to it. So. First of all, one of the things that makes this basement so cool is that my uncle has a company where he actually makes slot car tracks. He builds individual slot cars and he takes these around to events around the country um, and runs like birthday parties and events. And this is like the permanent table that's set up. And this is nothing compared to the super, super cool stuff he has set up. This is just kind of the, uh, the filler table set up at home to kind of play with the kids and kind of test stuff out. Those little... Little tiny people details here. I added Boba Fett the other day, but uh, that's because I found him in a bin. Um, yeah, super cool. One of my favorite things that he does is he's got a table where he does laser tag, but with plastic tanks. So you play them as slot cars, but they actually have like lasers in them that will register hits and will turn off if you take enough. So there's a, a battle tanks. But that's not why we're here tonight. So <laughs> uh, we're going to go ahead and focus on the cars just for a second while I talk about this. So my cousins are both adults. They're younger than me, but not by a whole lot. Um, but so they've moved on to their own spaces. They both graduated from college and they have left this. This is a massive, massive pile of Warhammer miniatures from Warhammer, from Fantasy, from 40K, from all kinds of random stuff, from sets all across the history of the games. Um, and they... <laughs> generously agreed to my wacky ask where I said like, hey, let me go through all the boxes, find all the models, and let me organize this stuff for you. So like you guys know where everything is, you know what's where, you know what you have. Um, just to like go ahead and do an inventory. And I'm really excited to do that because a lot of the stuff they have is again the stuff that I was introduced to the games with. Like this goes way back, nostalgia for me, like 20 years ago we played with this stuff. Um, and so I'm gonna go through all this and look at some quick highlights just kind of talk about some of the cooler things that I've found before I get back to sorting all this stuff and horribly regret my choice to offer to organize this stuff. But right off the bat, one thing I want to talk about is my cousin thought that he had lost his Ultramarines army completely years ago and could not find it forever. So I went through all the boxes and this little sucker was hiding in a corner. Look at that. And these are, just to start out, these are I mean, these are old, old models. This guy's solid frickin' metal. Obviously not an Ultramarine model. Uh-oh. Let me see about fixing that. Um, yeah, but like, first generation, first born Space Marines, Ultramarines, of course, like the varying stages of painted, but this army looks really cool on the table, and this is one he's really proud of, especially when it's fielded with... God, look at all those tanks. Look at them all. All right, a thing of beauty. That's a lot. And these, again, are Firstborn 2. And there's so much random stuff in here. Like, every time I go in a box, I'm like, oh, look. That, I think, is the original Gotrek of Gotrek and Felix from Warhammer Fantasy. Like, that, just in there. You know, just a thing. Whatever. Just a, I think, spectacularly rare model. And then there's other stuff in here, too. Like, I don't even know what this is. And it's funny, the old metal stuff has labels on the bottom, but that does not mean they're readable. This is an old school dwarf, but I don't know if it's a ratling or what. Might be fantasy, looks like fantasy, but with a rifle, who knows. Uh, I know some of the stuff and a lot of stuff I don't. This appears to say Hugo. Anybody know who Hugo is? I don't, but cool, there it is. We're not gonna spend too much time. I'm not gonna go through everything. There's just way too much to cover. Look at that paint job in the inner paneling. Look at that, very nice, very nice. All right, we're going to keep on going. This cracked me up <laughs> way back, I think. And I could be wrong. I could be wrong about a lot of this stuff. I remember this being the very first line of GW Citadel colors. And look at that crazy label. We got some old Lehman Russes in various states of disrepair. This is a 
very old Predator, painted in the lovely blue of the Blood Angels. Got a kick out of that. So we're just going to keep going on the tour here. We got the whirlwind that is literally... There was a whirlwind in there. I moved it. And then we got some empty boxes that will be put to use. I love empty boxes. And then we have just a single basilisk. Actually, a very nice basilisk. Then, of course, we have the random assortment of fantasy models. What are these? I don't know what these are. They're little militia footmen. Uh, that's got a name. What is this? Oh, yeah, I'm not reading that. Uh, Clev Warrior. Great. Helpful. Kislev Warrior? Ooh, Kislev Warrior. Okay, I actually do recognize that. So some old stuff from Warhammer Fantasy. This guy's got a cool hat. <laughs> uh, and then we've got like this thing. Look at this. What a cool old wizard model. And again, solid, solid metal. And I completely divested of metal models not too long ago. Um, but I will say the feel is, is still very nostalgic. I don't want to own them. Certainly not store bulks of them. But love the beard detail in this one. Anyway. And one of the cooler things here. Um, we'll go ahead and do a little little preview. One of the things that one of my cousins got really, really good at and really into, if you get the book collection, love it. One of the things he got really into was terrain and building his own terrain. And so a lot of the stuff I'm finding is a lot of, uh, and it's like scratch built homemade terrain and like a mix of stuff, tons of trees, huge amounts of the stuff that goes both on the slot car tracks. Oh, look, uh oh, I don't wear pants while recording. Oh, oh, shorts. Yeah, we're good. Um, <laughs> And so uh, the cousin who's really good at building terrain also is now, I don't know exactly the title, but he searches old abandoned mines and looks for mineral veins for uh, geological companies like mines and uh, government groups. And so he finds the coolest freaking rocks. I don't know what this is or if I should be touching it, but man, would it look cool in a Warhammer tabletop. So I really hope he gets back into making terrain so that he can kind of contribute some of that knowledge to the stuff here. So there's that. Got some random stuff I pulled out too. This is the old, old Star Wars TCG. CCG? TCG? I don't know. And there's some, uh, some crazy, crazy stuff in there. I see a foil. What is it? Oh, R2. That's a foil. Look at you. Oh, beautiful. Sparkle. Ooh, I dropped it. Oh, God. Can't do that. Okay. Ooh, not showing that part to the cousin. <clears throat> then we've got some of the newer stuff, like we've got the... Um, <laughs> Do you remember what this box is named? I don't either, but hey, it's labeled Dark Vengeance. These Dark Angels models were so freaking cool, and they still are. Uh, yeah, God, I love these. These are some of the, the Snap Fit box kit of the Dark Angels before the recent uh, reboot to the range. And these are, oh man, oh man, so cool. So cool. I loved, okay, I absolutely love this. So, tangent, I'm a dad. Um, Spro, <laughs> there's probably three tanks in that mess. Um, yeah, I'm a dad. My Warhammer collections have grown and shrunk many, many times. But um, if you saw my short. That was these guys in there. But so my collection has grown and shrunk many times, and um, I just don't have that big of a volume of models anymore. And so it's really, really cool to see this. There's something very satisfying about having just like a big volume of un unassembled sprues and just like models strewn about and these are older models and again i keep hinting at the nostalgia here where like i remember when these models were released i remember when we first unboxed these particular versions of these models and i look at this pile and it's this dusty dirty mess of half painted stuff but i look at this and it i can just hear like the cackling and laughing of a bunch of kids running around and like squirting each other with water guns and playing warhammer and drinking soda um yeah so i love it this bad boy right here. Oh, man. This is actually the box that started it all for all of us. These are almost entirely solid metal, like first edition, first ever Space Marine models. Let's see if I can find one. It's like a true first edition guy. I mean, you've got a lot of beakies in here. Um, this guy here with the uh, sketchy rocket launcher. It's funny. I feel like the paint job actually suits sort of the history behind these random dinosaurs. Yeah, I got those. This guy's solid metal. I'm not sure if this guy's from Necromunda or from something else, but there are a couple of these in here. I think, where are you? One of these. They're all sort of posed differently, but I believe this is like the original Space Marine. Well, not quite. It's not like the Rogue Trader one, but it's close. It's like one of the first of the recognizable Space Marines we would have. Somebody's gonna correct me on that, and I look forward to learning what I've gotten wrong. 
Random Imperial Guardsman. Okay. With an Orc Sword. Okay. This is also what was the case. Oh, oh, is that? <gasps> oh, that one might actually be a Rogue Trader era Beaky. Somebody's going to correct me on that. I hope you do. Love to see it, but man. There's just wargaming history in these boxes, y'all. And again, I'm not going to go through all of it, but this video is going to be fairly long, so brace yourself. Nice metal lightning claw that's uh, gathered some lint, like you do. Don't leave your lightning claws on. Got this thing. I think this is a titan? I think this is an epic titan. It's definitely got a las cannon, which is definitely 40k in design, but I, otherwise, I, I got nothing. Like, none of the other stuff is recognizable. It is heavy and metal and has a square base. Also some iconography that I don't recognize. This guy, though, I do recognize. A greater demon, if I'm not mistaken, the very first Bloodthirster model. Again, solid metal. Pain in the neck to uh, glue together. Skimpy wings, quite small. He's uh, not much bigger than space. I mean, he's maybe twice the size of a space marine. Um, definitely more dog-like than the current ones, but you can see a little bit where the... Uh, Inspiration for the current guys came from. Let's see if there's anything else in this box. More of these guys. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, more of those hive gangers. We'll go ahead and move on. There's so much to cover. And I do have to sort this stuff, so I'm not going to go too into that. We're going to skip around a little bit. This guy, God. This is like an original Gene Steeler cult piece with a little microphone. A lot more uh, hard rock in the old original model, so that's pretty great. This guy jumped out. Sweet head design on this guy. Old oh, lizard man. I've actually been heckling my cousins all week that there are lizard men in every single drawer in this room because of this. <laughs> this entire pile was split up between all of the boxes I've seen so far. None of them were in the same place. We all have also got some really early generation plague marines. Really early generation world eaters. Not world eaters, corn berserkers. World eaters and corn berserkers, close enough. Uh, I've got whatever this is. I think this is an old school necromancer. Can't quite read that. Nehekaran or something? Necromancer. Anyway, cool old metal model. Random fine cast ranger. Very nice model, actually. Really like that. Got a bunch of these guys. I don't know what these are. That one's metal. These might be Warhammer Fantasy or it might be an offshoot. Not sure. A bunch of them here. Uh, a couple more wargs. These may actually be wolves for space wolves, but this guy is definitely an orc boar, so we're going to go ahead and bring this bad boy over to the orc box, which makes me so happy. We got, we got a 1.0 tie interceptor box empty in here that I just couldn't bring myself to get rid of. I love orcs. I love them. They make me so happy. It makes me so happy that they exist. I love to see them painted. I love to see them half painted. I never ever want to have an orc army or paint one because, good, no. Um, but yeah, super cool to see this. And these guys, I think, are fantasy orcs. But one thing I really love about these guys is the Gretchen swarm bases. These tiny trolls are solid metal. Solid metal. And that one's trying to hit me with a mushroom. But look, at, I love it. Very basic paint job. This is just an incredibly satisfying model. It's so old. Uh, okay, so we'll jump back to this. I was joking about the uh, lizard men being everywhere. There's also, a lot of people don't even know about the um, sub-factions of the Imperial Guard, but this actually has a pretty decent collection of just a handful. Of, I think that might be a real bullet. I'll be careful with that just in case. It's a little plat. Nope. Oh, it's a 22 bullet. There you go. Hmm. Interesting choice. Um... These guys are uh, Kadashan jungle fighters, I believe, which is just really cool to see because it's been a really long time since any of these were re-released. Re and one of these might be the original Sly Marbo, but I'm not totally sure. His design's changed a couple times. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it hasn't. Mordian Iron Guard. Maybe. Uh, I think so. Somebody catch me on that. And of course, more of these guys. This guy really captures the... If you ever watched the movie Predator, the original, the Kadishan jungle fighters really were based on... I don't know which came first, but they really were based on the crew in Predator. There are seven heavy weapons teams in here, in this pile of random guardsmen. Also several half-guardsmen, I'm not going to ask what happened to them. 
random Necrons. We're going to see quite a few more of those. These are just kind of the, the warriors that were in repair bins. But there are a bunch of metal ones in there that we'll get to. Oh, I'm coming for you. The lizard men. God, I love lizard men. And this is, I played Mordheim, um, and I had a little band of skinks, and then a couple Sauros warriors, if I remember correctly. And they just, I will always love lizard men. Ooh, ooh not showing that one. I will always love lizard men, just because they're so cool. Super fun to paint. I think I painted one of these back in the day, when I was like eight. But these are the really old designs, and they've improved a lot, but the old models are still very satisfying. They're some of the best of the old fantasy ranges, the lizard men. And there's even some little metal bits getting around here, so I think there's a snake. There's a really cool... Well, that's a snake, but that's not the one I was talking about. <laughs> like, the jungle swarm box was mixed in with this pile. And I had to move the entire pile to find it. It was in there. Somewhere in here also, there's a metal skink priest. That guy's metal, not a skink priest. He's missing his mount. We'll get to that. Uh, there are a couple of these metals, though. Ooh, old salamanders. There we go. That one's riding. <laughs> Wild. Uh, but yeah, with those jungle bits bases. Some very cool snakes. What was it? The jungle swarm, like the random jungle wild animals you put on a base is a swarm thing. I don't think those are around anymore in the rules. That's the one I liked. That little metal snake is good stuff. Okay, moving on. We got a bunch more to cover, and I've already talked your ears off for plenty. So we saw the ultramarines, saw the tanks, saw the stuff over there. Ooh, let's peek around the corner. Dark Angels. This was a treat. These are new on sprue, old school Kemrian warriors, I think. They're they're the old Tomb Ring, Tomb Kings infantry. Mostly. There's other stuff in here. Tomb Kings, Tomb Kings, Tomb Kings, Tomb Kings. Oh look! Necrons. <laughs> Ah, random grab bag, but it's cool. I loved to see these. I have, I'm a total sucker for skeleton infantry. I will never know why. I don't care. I will just love it. Cool to see these. Uh, these are a little bit less exciting because GW is actually officially rolling out a revamp of this range, and the new ones are going to be way better. But still, this is just uh, freaking cool. And cool to mix and match with the new stuff, too. So why not? Got the instrument in there and all the shields. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got one of these guys. The, act, the sprues are actually in here partially painted. I'm not going to pull it out because I'm one-handed, but pretty cool to see that. And this one, oh man, I was excited about this. What's in here is the, uh, it's a two-pack. It's a wizard versus a dark elf. Or actually, I'm not even sure what's in here. There's a whole bunch of models on the bottom there. I'll have to check the sprue to see if all that's even in here, but pretty cool. Big combo kit going way back. And this, I don't remember the names of these guys. Techless and the bad one. Mm. Um, I should know these things. I don't. It's all these bins of random bits with just like, a lot of them happen to be metal orc war bosses in various states of disassembly. Rocket to make it a jump boy. Nice. Nice big shooter. All sorts of things you could do with that. Okay, moving on. Now we've got these bins that are just full of stuff, so I'm going to pull some of these out, and I'm going to do more of this organization. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, so many old paints. Oh god, at some point I have to go through and see how many of these actually work anymore. I'm going to guess none, but we'll try them. Um, what do you got in here? Corn cob pipe, very nice. Another Necron, look at that. Uh, random helicopter, cool, alright. And this is like... <laughs> oh, that is a good bit. I think I actually got the wizard's kit from these guys, and I asked for a couple pieces to make some really cool models in the past, and I really want this now, so yeah, hey, we'll see. I'll ask. But yeah, the Imperial Wizards Old School Fantasy Kit has some of the best kit bashing bits ever. Especially for like Eldar Warlords. Um, and that would be great for a uh, Death Guard guy, which I now have Chaos Marines. So, cool. Next up, paint. Slot car. Valvoline slot car. Paints and ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. this is a solid hunk of metal. What even is that? Oh. Oh, ho, ho. It's an original metal pterodon rider set, and this may be actually the base for a jungle swarm. Oh, look at you. God, there's so much stuff going on in this bag. Lizard men. Told you I was joking that there are lizard men everywhere. Oh, look, a croxagore. Wow. Man, I made a Blood Bowl team years ago, and even then it was incredibly hard to find a croxagore. Old school metal flayed one. These guys, God. My first army was Necrons and, like... The metal flayed one still is just such an eye-catching piece of work. Necrons. 
Uh, and the old metal tomb spider. Good God, so much metal. So heavy. And then just various Necron pieces. Oh! An old Kriegsman. Oh, look at you. Now these guys have been released, so it's less exciting. If I found this guy a couple years ago, this would have been like hitting gold. Um, and this is another one of those sub-chapter guys. This guy's Ice Warrior of Valhalla. That's that hat. So I don't think these are Morty and Iron Guard. I think I had that wrong with the guy earlier. Got some Space Marines. Got more of those. There are a bunch of these. I don't think these are in the Necron line anymore, but the old Immor uh, Pariahs were such a cool concept. They were psychic nulls, so they were anti-psychers, and their lore was just really fascinating. It's like these are what humans across the galaxy were being converted to by the by the Necrons. So, wild. Wild! Moving on. We're almost done. There's not actually a whole lot more to cover. I just wanted to make sure to cover it. Oh, God. The dissected bits. <laughs> the science experiment tube. <laughs> the, uh... The calculators that all of us still have left over from our years in school. There are so many transfers in here. I'm going to put these all in a big old stack. Tape measure. More flayed ones. Ooh, and a fully assembled... Minus laser rod, mostly painted, pariah. These guys are just, I don't know why I liked them so much, but there was something very catching about them. And look, lizard men in every drawer. They're everywhere. Sneaky lizards. What do we got? We have another bin of these. Ooh. Ooh, whoa, whoa, that's metal. That is solid metal. We'll put that with some of the tanks. And a random wraith lord. Hmm, okay. All right. And lizard men. Lizard men in every drawer. <laughs> okay, pop this with the tank. So I've got two more sets of drawers. If you're still with me, thank you. Uh, I will try to move. Is that good at this? Oh, beautiful. Love it when pieces fit together. Hello, box. Um, I've got... Yeah, we're almost done. We're going to go ahead and rock it through it. Again, this is... I'm so excited. I hope you're excited, too. I don't even know what to do with this drawer. Uh... Here's more of those Ice Warriors of Valhalla. And I think one of these guys actually has the base that confirms that. It just says guard. Unhelpful. Okay. We've got a fine cast Dark Elf Assassin. Such a cool kit. This painted picture on the front does not do the model at justice at all. It's a terrible picture. And look at this model. Oh, yeah. Uh, wow, what is what is that? Oh my god. Is that a Lord of Change? Holy cow, there's a Lord of Change in here. Whoa. Surely not. Yes. Yes. Wow. Wow, you've seen better days, buddy. And there's the wing in there, too. Whoa. Okay. Alright. Ooh, look at you. Old metal Lord of Change. Oh, goodness. Things you find. This is a solid metal bear. Uh, I don't know if this is fantasy, if this goes back to uh, some of the more offshoot guard things. Ooh, missing a lower jaw. But uh, that's a metal bear. That is very heavy. The other wing. Oh. Find the head in there somewhere. There's another wolf to go with the orcs. Ooh, interesting. Got a rider peg. Nice. We got the clips, we got the tools, we got the other arm of the Lord of Change. Oh, I'm so excited. And we got the uh, the cloak. Cloak, cloak. Very nice. More Necrons. Necrons everywhere. Uh, ooh, Eldar. Random Guardian. Oh, look at that. Somewhere in here there's a huge box of Tyranids. And that is just a pretty great... Um, it's the cannon. What is that? Venom cannon? Might be a Venom cannon. Might be a Barb Strangler. I don't remember those anymore, but that's very cool. There is so much in... Like this one I'm going to have to dive into... And it's going to take a minute. Oh, there's the head. Oh. Oh. Change must come from a giant turkey thing. Sweet. All right, we're going to keep going. I don't, I don't know where to start with this either. A lot. Ooh, hey, there's a resurrection orb from an old school lord. I imagine this is the rest of said lord. That is the other hand. Ooh, is that a lord or is that the, st the storm lord? Ooh, exciting. Oh, I don't know what those are. There's a bunch in here. It's gonna I'm going to have to tuck into this. 
in depth soon. Wow, wow, okay. All right. Densely packed drawers too, my God. Terrain, not messing with that. I mentioned that one cousin is doing great terrain. Oh, these are nice. Plastic, these are newer Necron destroyers. And these suckers are, uh, man, these look good. You did good, cousin. Very nice. I understand there is an entire Necron army somewhere else at one of the cousin's houses, but uh, for the moment. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at these. Did I say they're destroyer lords or just destroyers? Because these are destroyers. They are, ooh, four. They are heavy destroyers. They don't have the two guns. They've got the four guns. Nice. And look, lizard men in every drawer. This guy's cute. It's like the pink lizard man. Look at you. Okay. It's been said before, and definitely by wiser, more popular people than me, but uh, if you haven't, see if you can find orcs painted in pink flesh tones, because, God, that is nightmare fuel. <laughs> Flying bases. Man, this sorting thing. I have... Uh, gonna have to find efficient ways to move quickly. Oh, what do we have in there? What is that? Okay, we got another panel. And then what is this? Oh, wow. That is an old school dark elf. Dang, there is such a random grab bag of stuff. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. One Skaven. Exactly one. Been through enough boxes to be fairly certain there is literally one. Okay, next set of drawers. Then we have one more box, a couple books, and then we're good. If you, oh god, okay, yeah. Mm, there's some more paints we're gonna have to go through. Unless we get any, oh, look at you. Solid metal, old school Space Marine Captain, I believe. Unless we got, ooh, Chaplain. And there's some really rare ones in here. This may be one of the named Chaplains from way back when, but I don't think so. I don't think he's that old. He's metal. There is a, oh, oh, we found it. We found it. That's Calgar's other arm. In here, I skipped this, didn't I? Okay, sorry, there's more. There's more, bear with me. Look at these ultramarine bits. Oh, beautiful. So much stuff. Okay, ultramarines. I'm gonna cruise a little faster. This drawer, my god, okay. We got a bunch of orc war bosses and boar heads in here. Random standards, random arms. Ooh, hoo, hoo, gunner arm from a tank. Nice, got tank bits in here. Okay. Ooh, 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 very nice. We got some old school scouts. We got a, a thud gun. A <laughs> metal Warhammer Fantasy thud gun, I think. I always got such a kick out of the thing being called a thud gun. That was great. My god, there's so many space marines in here. What is that? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, what is this? Got a bionic leg, he's missing an arm, looks like a Terminator, and looks like a Space Wolf Terminator. Woo! Inquisition, what is this? Wow, okay, I'll look for his other arm. Another orc, there are a lot of boar riding orcs in this whole collection. Some old school scouts, those are still metal. Still metal. There's a handful of uh, Crimson Fist ish things going on here. Orc <laughs> Warboss head just peeking out of the back. Okay. This guy, I'm putting this guy in the unique pile right now. There's a wild collection of stuff. Some of this old metal stuff is absolutely incredible. And I've probably been calling out a lot of this stuff I've never seen. Which, I don't know. That I'm somewhat proud that that's a big deal because I've seen a lot of this stuff. Oh, not touching that. That's terrain. I touched it. More paint. There's some stuff in there, but I think that's all terrain. Oh, there's a bunch of bases back there. We'll have to dig into that a bit. What a color. Ugh, that doesn't work anymore. Okay. Uh, that's not going to close. Oh, wow. It closed. Uh, all terrain. Nice. Sweet. Okay. Kicking around, kicking around, we got uh, some orc parts, more transfers, ooh, Necron transfers, ooh, those are nice, wow, okay. There's a lot of these. 
a beast man with uh, what is this? I don't know what's in here. Beast man plus plastic stuff. It's plastic. Ooh, the OG chaos. I like this mixed box that it's half Death Guard and half Corn Berserkers. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's just a chaos box. Another one of these. Ooh, and the shrink wrap. Transfers forever. This guy. Who's this? Uh, Squire? Yeah, it's cool. Squire. Transfers. Transfers. Ooh, more Necron transfers. Wow, those are cool. Oh, there is a box in here. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, I looked at this, and my first thought was... It's a Torox, but I'm pretty sure it's the back of the top of a really, really big tank. And that has me um, thinking that too, but I haven't found the rest of it, so I don't know what goes with that. So, going with the bits. Random sprues from Necron Warriors through mostly Space Marine heads. We're gonna have an entire box of sprues with bits on them that I'm gonna put together, and I'm gonna love that box. That's a very exciting box for a Warhammer fan. These are sweet. These are more old school metal uh, skinks. Ooh, look at you. That's not just any skink. I don't know what that is. It just says skink. Okay. We've got this thing. I don't know what these are. Oh, it looks like another salamander. Yeah, okay. Another salamander with the kit. Maybe two. Or is this a cold one? Are these are these skink cavalry? Ooh. This does make it look more like that. It's a whole box of these. Man, all the metal. All the metal. Ooh, I don't envy anyone assembling that, but that's going in the uh, unassembled sprue box. I'll put it at the bottom. That'll be a fun surprise for someone someday. I'll close that box later. Uh, let's see, what did we skip? Right, okay. So I know you're disappointed. This is the very last box. You're a trooper. There you go. You are rewarded by an empty drawer. <laughs> oh, another one. Ah, look, terrain. Looks like a nice place to hang out. Boop. I'm going to forget that I put that there. Oh, God, heavy. That is a lot of metal. Uh, we got tank bits. Cool. We got a tank driver. Very nice. And then these are sandbags for terrain. Cool. Oh, this solid chunk of metal. And here's Kalgar, who was formerly missing his arm. Ah, oh, reunited at last. What a bin. Ooh, I could look at this all day. There's all these tiny little things in there. The captain's pretty cool. It's a nice piece of work. Custom arm, but it looks good. And here again, I am very, very sure that there's a box of Tyranids in here somewhere. And this makes me think that, but I've been very thorough and I haven't found them. Uh, random bits. Maybe not even bits. I don't even know what those are. Leave that one alone. Bases and terrain and battery, just for fun. Ooh, partially painted choppas. I'm gonna really bit bash like crazy with this. Bit bash, kit bash, whatever. Those are orcs? Yeah, those are all orcs. That's okay, cool. Q-tips, necessary. More sandbags and more of these guys. These are solid metal. That doesn't say GW, I don't think. Heavy. Yeah, that's not GW, I don't think. This guy sure looks like a hive ganger, though. Almost looks like it says Nger. Pretty sure this is a really old school Blood Bowl thing, but I'm not totally certain. Uh, and this, oh wow, is an original Gene Stealer before their dramatic change that we're much more familiar with. This is what they look like, and a lot more in lore with the uh, cults, which has now been brought back as one of the uh, Gene Stealer cult units. Solid metal. This makes me so happy. Oh, shoulder pad with the Chaos Star. Otherwise, unimpressive small bits collection. You made it through the rough tour. Well done, very well done. <laughs> no, I have to actually organize this crazy thing. Oh, good times. Thanks for uh, coming along with me, and uh, 
We'll talk soon. Ooh, da, da, da.